Week 32 of the Belgian Pro League. It's week two of the playoffs in the title race. Royal Antwerp in fifth. Racing Genk in fourth meet in a rematch of the final day last season. Leaders Union entertain tricky Circle Bruges. And in the Classica, it's Club Bruges in third, hosting second placed Anderlecht. Eight points between them. In the European playoffs, it's second against third, Mechelen St. Troden, with Leaders Genk visiting Westerlo. In between, it's Standard Liège against Leuven. And we have the opening fixtures in the relegation series. Charleroi or WDM and Open Kortrijk will start with the title playoffs and the champions. Week two of the Belgian Pro League playoffs and it's the top two from last season colliding again from the Boswell. Roy Antwerp against Racing Gate. And right, El Hajj, Tolu's waiting in the middle. El Hajj went all the way. Tolu with a chance of the rebound. Lamens could only parry it. Fell and vitally towards El Awadi. El Awadi's throw. Excellent control by Tolu. And he got the shot in as well. A tight one. Lamens had to react very quickly. And it was a tester. It was a good tester. And right, El Hajj. Azuke. Taken well again by uh, Galassa. Now a chance for it to be sent up by KMB. And right, El Hajj. Oh, that is beautiful. His second goal in four games. A marvellous goal from Anwar Aitel Hajj. Sonny really coming to the side due to Luke Owens' unfortunate ACL injury. But that was a moment of sheer, sheer beauty. Tolu <laughs> Arakadare trying to knock on the door right now with his many impressive performances as he can provide. Van der Vaart with a brilliant save. <laughs> and suddenly this might bounce for El Canoos. He's got the pace going. Bill El Canoos can wrap it up. Fine save by Lamens. It's come to Andy Sakiri. Straight in, straight away. And that's a corner. It could have been a second goal for Genk. <laughs> Altawile will let this go. It's Sujero Zuke. He has the creativity. He has the space, too, to create. It's a corner. Good stop, Van der Vert, big deflection on the way. I'm not sure it was going to creep in, but he couldn't take the risk. Dumbia. And the break is on, and this can wrap it up firmly. Elowadi. Great save, Lamens. Genk have done it again. They are title contenders. Pure and simple. Two wins right at the start of the playoffs. They have come from nowhere a few weeks ago, up to third, and they are only five points off the top. Two teams of great intensity clashing in the Belgian Pro League. The leaders losing for only the third time this season last week, but now facing a side nobody wants to play when they're in need of a pick-me-up. From Duden Park, the Joseph Marion Stadium, it's Union saint Jouars against Cirque Le Bruges. Great delivery, Leonardo Lopez, it'll fall for Alaminda, and Cirque Le Bruges lead, four minutes in. And Union concede yet again.
Union could be level within seconds. Castro Montes in again towards Nielsen, who had the chance. Brilliant start to this game. They could get another one here. It's 2-0 inside six minutes. Kevin Denke and Union are crumbling in the playoffs. Corner kick it is. Decent save on the double by Wallison. Second time to keep out Koki Makeda. Short by Castro Montes, brilliant ball! And Wallison does it again! And coming on the counter attack. This is a lot more their way. It's some more short for Puertas. It's a lot more like it from them here. Puertas forward. Nielsen! Just over. Or WDM denied. Nielsen short. Amora. No joy. Siddiqui. It's low at Lapuzan. Did well. Chance for Siddiqui to get the ball in again for Lapuzan. And Puertas is there. And it's a penalty. Union have a penalty. Just as the shot was coming in, they were saying that's what they should have been given last week. It's Gustav Nielsen from the spot. Union are back in it. Sackler concede from the spot for the first time this season. And it's come with eight games to go. Union are on the board. It's Puertas on target. Great save, Wallace. Quality free kick and a marvellous save. They're under pressure here massively. It's Kevin Denke on the way. Chance to hold it up, poke it forward. It's Alan Minda. Pulls it across and it's three. Summers. Sackler have a third goal. 20 minutes remaining. And Union are back on the precipice again. First from his country to play in the latter stages in Europe. Here goes Puertas! Great save. Wallace and does it again. Forward by Rasmussen. It'll open up here brilliantly. It's Elton Kabangu. He's brought Wallace and out in the center. Now it's the chance to score. And it's in there by Dennis Eckert. Five minutes remaining, Union are a goal behind. Salvation may yet be theirs. Every point counts at this stage of the season. And Eke has a goal that might earn Union one. It's another defeat for Union in the playoffs. They've lost their last two, and Miron Muslic has every reason to beam because they're fourth in the table and they're really challenging for Europe now. Andelect have had a last minute mishap as well and it's a busy day for Domenico Tedesco. He's been at both huge title playoff games today. First corner in by Skorach, not enough, brilliant lead in! Brandon Mekela, Club Bruges ahead after two minutes! It is lift off in the playoffs! What a fine goal!
Skorash did well. Did very well. Brilliant opening. Schmeichel powering it past Nielsen. He almost made it. Controlled by Meyer, decent chip up, and Igor Thiago controlling it. It's right in front of goal, and Meyer! <laughs> De Bast! Oh, didn't he get behind it well? Forward by Onyedika, cracking ball, Thiago! No! Ready to be two! Ready to finally break the goal-scoring hoodoo. And it's just trickled away from goal. Chance for Onyedika! It's 2 0! Rafael Onyedika! Club Bruges are not out of the title race yet either! Here's Ashimeru. Great ball poked forward, here's the chance, Amuzu, good save, super save by Yakers. Jukla, Onyedika wants another one, and he has another one, and Club have another one. Three goals, three points. The title race is wide open. A sensational Sunday. Not anymore. It's in by Dreyer. One down, two to go. Well, they have one back. What a finish to this game. What a win for Club Bruges. They have beaten Anderlecht by three goals to one. Dreyer got one back. He couldn't make it a second. And now Club are well in the hunt. Five points behind the Brussels two at the top. Mechelen and St. Troden are two of the three to win their opening game in the European playoffs. Mechelen second in the group, a point behind Ghent, so would go top with victory tonight. St. Troden three points behind the Molinua. They'd overtake them on the half points rule if they're to get an away win this evening. Mechelen only one defeat in 11, eight wins in that time. Corner sent in deep by Fluke. It's going to fall towards Rob Skos, and Skos again! Good save by Zion Suzuki in the St. Trident goal, and so early too. Very effective save. They keep it at nil-nil. Very good free kick, and Suzuki's missed it! And off the line, oh, that's nasty. Van Helden clearing off the line, and he has run right into the post, and he is not in a good way. He hit it very, very hard. Suzuki missing it all together, and that's a good clearance, but he ran right into the post. And that looks absolutely horrible. He is going to have to go off. He's being helped off. Was going to be stretched off, but he wanted to be carried away. Jeffrey Ehrmans, lovely ball, Norma Bassett, Scopes is in, deflected onto the crossbar. Mecklen have had all the good chances in this first half, 
Besnik Hasi side so close to going into the lead. Wicked deflection. And almost into the net. Good deep corner by Fluka. Oh, Suzuki's pulled it off again. He's kept it away from Bates. Good chance for the Scotland international. He's only scored one so far this season. Rabti with the free kick. Off the post and in by Bates. In the sixth minute of stoppage time, after that very, very long injury, Mecklen get the breakthrough. Rabti's free kick wrapped his foot around it well, and Bates turns it home. Good one struck long. Good opening, Koita off the post and somehow stayed out. Guyton Cooker surviving and only just refusing to cross the line against the post twice. Guyton Cook getting it away. Brilliant ball. Ermans coming forward. Knob of the set. It's two for McAllen. Maybe that does it. Ten minutes into the second half. Cook launching it long. Ehrmans, good close control. Not going to go for it himself. Picking out Bissette in the middle. And Ehrmans always creative. Such a wonderful playmaker for Mecklen. Picking out Bissette. It's a turn have gotten very much bogged down. Ito, Janis Stoikers, who got both last week. Ito! They have an opening. Midway through the second half, St. to find the net to cut the gap to 2-1. That was a lovely combination with Janis Stoikers, so creative. And well among the goals lately. And Ito now two for his fifth of the season. And Stoikers with the assist. Koita. Let fly! Oh, beautiful goal! Abu Bakari Koita loves a long range finish and he's had few better than this this season. His 16th of the campaign, the third highest scorer in the league, and arguably he scored more beauties than anyone else. Still a chance in the 90th minute that they can get the Winston Trode. Ito, worth a go, he's done it, and St. Jordan have done it, in the last minute, Reitaro Ito gets his second, St. Jordan's third, they've come from two down, midway through the second half, maybe to win it, an unbelievable finish, especially for Besnik Hasi and Mechelen, Losing on the final night of the regular season at the death. And now here, having been two up, it's halted their impressive progress. But as for St. Trodin, they now go second in the table. And Riotaro Ito's goals have the Canaries in with a much stronger chance of making it into Europe. Still eight games to go. Mechelen two, St. Trodin three. It's a lockout, only a handful of fans for this one and watching from outside the locked gates. The Sklesan closed after crowd trouble at the standard and elect cup tie in December. Their punishment, one game behind closed doors. Standard winning their last three at the end of the regular season but losing 5-1 last week again and in trouble straight away. Matthew Martins has Torsteinsen in the middle and the back heel clever. But an easy save for Arno Bodar to make. Deep one again for Martins, and he's in the crossbar. Tight angle. Love and putting good pressure on in the opening seven minutes. Was that meant to be a shot from Martins? Torsteinsen on the break. He's got space, he's got support. Torsteinsen going for it. Just wide. Martins getting him clear, and the Iceland international just wide. 
Frustrating game for Standard Liège so far, creating nothing. But maybe now, Kanga, side netting. The first really good chance of the game. Just club officials watching on. Mertens has seen Bodo off his line. Just over. What a sensational goal this would have been. With virtually no one to see it. Still goalless at half time. But what a chance that was for Martins. Torsteinson getting it moving well. Matthew Martins, good back heel. Akamoto across goal. Good opening for the Japan international. Lovent had a bad run late in the season, but rallied. Good try. Launched long again. Not a bad ball by Johan Maziz and Bada coming out, and it's just wide. Wouldn't have counted anyway. Matthew Martins is really throwing himself around the former Lovent and captain. He has been to the forefront today. Kanga, good save. Turbo Lyson standing up well. Rebounding to Kawabe. Well, Standard showing a little bit of gumption up front. Good search forward by Isaac Price, and he shot early. Well, the Northern Ireland International gave that a really, really good go. Lyson reacting wonderfully. What a try. Standard have really upped it in the second half. And Willie Kanga! Lyson again keeps it out. Another brilliant save. Ivan Leko has seen the side come close time and time again in this second half. Brought forward by Lucas Newby. William Balakwisha showing some liveliness. Another beauty, another one on target, and Lyson with a succession of second half saves. Keeps it at nil-nil. William Balakwisha, good cross, Pritza off target. Off the bench late on, and almost on the score sheet, even later, which would have won it. No fans, no goals. No progress. Standard Liège nil. Out Havelay Leuven nil. Westerlo hanging on for dear life for the final night of the regular season with their one-all draw with Genk. That's enough to keep them up, but denying Genk to spot in the title playoffs. The Buffaloes have continued their belting form with 10 goals in the last two games. And after his unhappiness with the circumstances of that controversial draw here three weeks ago, Ivan Eisenbrook has had a lot to say. Former Genk keeper Sinan Balat trying to upset them tonight. Well, Westerlo really don't have a lot to play for in their final 10 games of the season. But a good run, and they might be challenging at the top of this. It's a decent ball. Griffin Yao and Freegan. And Davy Ruff with the save. It's taken a while for Ghent to build, and Archie Brown is doing that. Good header, Hong Gandelman does it again. The man who got four on the final night of the regular season against Charleroi has netted again here. Midway through the first half, Archie Brown's hanging cross, the control by Hong, and in by Gandelman. What a really good run of scoring he's enjoying. Brown again on the left-hand side. Really buoyed by that goal. They might be about to do it again. Only header to Tissadale. And Gent's top scorer does it again. His 18th of the season in all competitions. And the one man they did not want it to fall to. It came right to him. Clearance didn't get far. Tissadale slotting in. It's two goals in as many minutes. And Gent are two up. Happiness for those fans after the desolation of the final night, watching the scenes 
from here on their own big screen again. They've got a big score to settle. To Sidali for Fernandez Pardo! Hand off the crossbar. That was a belting effort. He scored in his last two games. That's a lot of bounce of Fernandez Pardo. Brought down by Bakari Aydara, who's already on a yellow, and he will go. Westerlo are down to 10 before half time. And considering where the pitcher was, cover, yes, but maybe a borderline red. It's all going against way. To Sadali on the way. Take you on Bola. He's down. It's a penalty. Penalty given straight away by Wim Smith. How much contact was there, though? Not a lot. No penalty. And taken as a dive by Tissadali. P4 with the flick on. Lucas Stasso with the try and Ruff saving it. Very good stop. Westerlo trying to get on the board at the end. Good chance on the counter attack finally. For Gaines right at the end. Good save by Bolak, but Gandelman has scored his seventh goal in three games, 11 for the season. More than double what he's got in any single campaign before. He's turning into a goal scoring machine. Yokoto chipping, Gandelman scoring. Gent on course to win the European playoffs for a fourth successive season, three wins in a row, only one loss in six. Sinan Bola beaten three times tonight, twice by Omri Gandelman, who simply cannot stop scoring. Gent open up a four-point lead at the top of playoffs two. Westerlo's season is withering. Westerlo nil, Gent three. All change for Charlotte and Or WDM entering the relegation playoffs with new coaches. Or WDM on the fourth of the season with Yannick Ferreira replacing the short-lived Bruno Illes. For Charlotte, Felicia Massa released with former Westerlo coach Rick DeMille replacing him. A big call by under fire Zebra's managing director, Medi Bayek. Chance of an early break for Or WDM as well. They've not had a lot of joy this season. Coffee's out of goal. Messier with a chance to put it in. And drags Ness back in time to drag it away. And to keep it at nil-nil. A quick break it was. Xavier Mercier bursting down the left-hand side. Coffee on walkabout. Mercier almost slipped it home. High one. Duomo. And Abner. Coffee saving it. An unorthodox strike. Good chance for Abner. Didn't meet it right. Guanyon, first chance of a solid attack for Charlois, and it's a good header too. Bernier hit the post. 18 minutes played, and Charlois close to the lead through Bernier. Another good charge down the left hand side. Gagnon is gone down, and no penalty, says Wesley de Kramer. It was Makoso's challenge. Close run thing. Canyon, good stride forward. A tight one between him and Makozo, but no spot kick. Or WDM plowing forward. Carlos Alberto, and it's off the line by Dragsness. Just got the header away. Charlo on the counter. It's open up brilliantly. Gagnon in space in the middle. And he's been picked out. Gagnon! Just wide. That was guilt edged. Still no goals at the start of Peter Charlo. Camera. Great chance. Gone down. Penalty. Dan Eamon's waiting across. He's brought camera down. 
No hesitation for Wesley de Kramer. Held up by Biron. Camera fouled. It's a penalty. And he was onside. Charlotte have conceded five this season. They've all been scored. Not this time. Biron's had it saved and no joy in the rebound either. They'd only been awarded one other penalty this season back in August and Biron scored it, but not here. Deep corner. Makosa off target. Still no joy for our WDM. Hanging. Gagnon making a lot happen outside the area. Just wide from Gagnon. Game meandering towards a goalless draw. Messier. Carlos Alberto with the pullback. And how did that not go in? Biron was virtually on the goal line. That should have been the opening goal for our WDM. And they may not get too many more chances as good as this. Not just today, but in the season. Look where he was. Good heavens. That has to be the miss of the season. As you were, Shallow are well clear at the top of the playdowns. Or WDM stay bottom. Shallow are nil or WDM nil. So the relegation playoffs begin. The bottom two go down. Kortrijk second from bottom. The same number of points as the threatened Banders. Florian Kovelt resigning as open boss at the end of the regular season. Replaced by Christopher Hansen and Raphael Fev. And it's Kortrijk putting the pressure on. Avenatti's try. Saved by Nuruddin. Decent launch forward. And Amon in. He's got a couple of goals since so coming from Standard Liège. Nil-nil at half-time, and the excitement's been palpable. Forward by Avenatti again. Deep cross. Kangwa coming, and Isaac Davis has touched it in. The Wales international scores a court strike. It's his ninth of the season, and it's his goals that are largely keeping Kortrijk with their heads above water, scrambled it in, didn't know, maybe at first a huge amount about it, but that in a way a predatory strike, Nuruddin scrambling, Kangwa back in, and diverted in by Davis. Kadri to take the corner. Nordin let it go. And almost in. Savanati. What a brilliant chance. And that could very easily have been two for Kortrijk. And maybe curtains for open. Pandas have produced precious little today. Let's be honest. Here's Davidson. Charles Cook. Need to produce something here. Fill it. Regan Charles Cook went for it. Oh, that's some goal. That belies the entire afternoon that Open have had. What a wonderful finish. Regan Charles Cook, the substitute with a tremendous goal, curls it in for 1 1. It's a blow against Kortrijk. An early win would take them away from the four, but on his even in the fight to stay up. Has this helped either side much? Open one, Kortrijk one. So with St. Troden coming back to win at Mechelen, and no goals at Charleroi or Standard Liège. Outside of this, it's been a remarkable week in the race for the title. Race and Gang's revival continuing with their win at Champions Royal Antwerp. Leaders Union losing at home to Circle of Bruges, their first home defeat since September. And second place, Anderlecht unable to capitalise, falling at Club Bruges. The point shared between Open and Kortrijk, Ghent with another big goals haul away to Westerlo. The top two both losing, so Uni saint was stay top ahead of Anderlecht. Club Bruges and Genk both go within five points of the top with eight games remaining. Circler in fifth can cut the gap to four points next Saturday night. Antwerp in sixth are being cast adrift. Gents go four points clear in the European playoffs. St. Trojan's win over Mechelen puts them above the Malinois. The bottom three of Standard Leuven and Westlow are well off the pace. 
As you were after the first week of six in the relegation playoffs, Charlois are in the safe zone on 30 points. Ipen, due to their regular season position, are in the promotion relegation playoff spot. The bottom two go down, that's currently Kortrijk and RWDM. So next weekend, a big game between Genk and Circular on Saturday night. The winners would go third. Circular could cut the gap at the top to four points. If Genk win, it would be two. Sunday lunchtime sees Club Rouge host Antwerp, but the big game of the weekend is the meeting of the top two in the Brussels derby Sunday evening, Anderlecht hosting Union. In the Euro playoffs, it's Entroden against Standard Liège on Friday night, mechelen Westerlo Saturday, and Leaders Gains at Leuven on Sunday. In the relegation playoffs, it's or WDM Eupen and Courtright Shalowa. Two of those are going down. But coming up at Beerschot, coached since the end of December by former Dutch international Dirk Kout, a massive travelling contingent going to the coast and a stender for a big day out. A win would send them up, and here's the winning goal. A familiar name here, Dimaggio Wright Phillips, son of Sean Wright Phillips, grandson of Ian Wright, with a clincher for 2 1. Thibaut Verlinden had scored the first. They clinched promotion with two more games left in the season. It means the return of the Antwerp derby after two years away. Dender are now second after beating Danza. Lommel third, but the weekend belongs to Beerschot. <laughs>